Hey happy homemakers and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pack and clean with me video. So in this video I was just getting ready to go away for my 15th wedding anniversary with Aaron and we were going to be spending the whole weekend away so I just wanted to get all the dishes taken care of and the house tidied. It's also a bit of a chatty video because I kind of talk with you guys a lot while I'm packing up so that will be a little bit later in the video. I'll kind of explain where we're going and all of that but first I'm just getting started in the kitchen with unloading the dishwasher. I'm dancing all these fears away Once I had finished unloading the dishwashers, of course it was time to go ahead and reload the dishwasher. mom sneeze situation that I caught on camera and if you know you know <laughs> now I will say this has gotten a lot better things where I don't always have to do that but if I need to go then I definitely have to do the mom sneeze so then I just kind of moved around to like tidying up everything. There was a lot of junk on the counters. There were things that needed to be packed up. And then of course I had some more dishes to put away that I had stuck on the island and just little tidying that needed to be done. Um, I will say that these kitchen lights above the island are crazy bright. It's nice because it makes it easier for me to have my videos be a little bit um, brighter, especially with my old house. My kitchen was so dark. It was so hard to get bright videos. So I do appreciate it, but it almost blinds you in person. The temperature of the light is so white blue and all the rest of the lights in the house are the normal like warm bright. So I don't know. I think I'm going to change these light bulbs out because they literally like you feel like you're being blinded when you're in the kitchen. So we almost always leave these off unless I'm filming. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. I can take this anymore. You say we're done. And just a little disclaimer, I know it looks like I'm bald anytime you guys can see the top of my head, but it's just a weird calic where my hair parts, I swear. <laughs> I even asked the hairstylist about it. I'm like, why does my hair do this? And she said that my hair just like swirls backwards from like what the normal person's hair does. And I'm like, oh great, thanks. Thanks hair, I have this weird swirl and now I look like I'm bald if you look at me from the top. So a lot of times I will tease that hair so that that doesn't happen, but anytime I'm not like you know thinking about it in advance and I have a shot where it shows my head from above I definitely have um, like what looks like a giant bald spot <laughs> which luckily I'm not going bald you guys I'm not I promise I'm not going bald I'm just gonna be thankful for that and take my weird calyx swirl and say that that's much better than actually going bald right <laughs> Yeah. 
So if you saw my video like probably about a month ago where I talked about the little personalized cups I got that Aaron was jealous and I was gonna go back and get him one, <laughs> this is his. I did go back and get him one and I just made his a little more manly by getting the uh, black instead of like the multicolor holographic um, font color. You made your bed, now lie in it, baby. Rest your head, let it dream of So then I wanted to refill the ice trays. Now we don't have um, purified water, like cold water out of, that comes out of the fridge or an ice maker in this fridge. So I do like put water in a filter jug and then I fill ice trays, which is a little inconvenient, but I mean, first world problems, right? <laughs> and not the worst thing I could be complaining about. But the funny thing is in our last house, we were so excited to have filtered water and an ice machine. When we first got married, we rented a trailer for the first year. Then we bought our first home. So that was the second year we were married. We had ice, an ice maker in that fridge. Since then, we've not had an ice maker in any fridge in any house because in our Michigan house, we actually went to replace the fridge when we were doing all the remodel in our kitchen. And we found out that because they had added wood floors in there and the fridge was underneath like a, a cabinet, kind of how it is here in this home as well, there was a specific height ratio it had to be. And we wanted stainless. We were replacing everything with stainless. Well, there were only two options for us to choose from and neither one of them had ice or water in the fridge. So we got to this house and my husband's like, we're gonna have ice maker and water in the fridge. And we got here and we did. <laughs> but you know, I was just glad that this rental actually had a fridge because I thought that was standard, but I was actually looking at a few rentals that did not have fridges. And as much as it costs to rent a house, I couldn't believe some of them didn't come with fridge. But anyway, <laughs> I say all that to say that one day we will have an ice maker and um, water, purified water in our fridge. Now in our old house, we had put in like a purified water system into the sink. And obviously since this is a rental, we can't drill in the sink to add anything like that. I do miss that because that was pretty much the next best thing to having cold water out of the fridge was that I just had a spout on the side where I got purified water. So for now we're stuck filling these trays. We have like the, you know, the bigger one and then we have the little small one that I was using for um, the ice. And again, it's a little inconvenient, but you know, there could be worse things and we're so blessed oh, I'm not gonna complain about it but I am excited for the day that I have ice and water coming directly out of the fridge it's so convenient once you get used to that it's hard to go back to like not having it and I think it's been I mean I guess since we moved to Michigan we haven't had it so it's been at least six years since we've had that so we definitely miss it I was trying to put this stuff away and I actually bust this candle. So I just was trying to very carefully go through and pick up the glass and I put everything that was in um, this little drying rack into the sink just in case any glass splattered. I wanted to rinse all those dishes off again and then I went ahead and washed my little um, dish tray mat because I didn't want to risk having any glass stuck in there and um, carrying that anywhere else but it was time for that to be washed anyway. So I just keep wetting napkins and trying to pick up the little small pieces of glass because I was worried that I was going to miss some and every time I would go back I, f I found more glass so I just did that until I didn't find any more glass. Don't want to take it slow just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Needed some time to grow Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Ready to talk, baby Can be your rock, baby Please come and sit with me Or take a walk with me I need to speak to you Just wanna be with you Just let me take you for a ride is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we're meant to be, didn't wanna say goodbye If there's a chance, just tell me how Cause time is precious, time is now Don't wanna take it slow Just wanna let you know in here for right now I still have stuff to do but I need to go ahead and pack and then I'll come back and see what energy I have left to finish up all the rest of the house cleaning so hopefully I'll come home to a clean house yeah. all 
All right, so this is just going to be like a two day trip, like a weekend trip. So I'm definitely packing way too much and I am very aware, but I'm just not sure what I'm gonna be in the mood for. I'm not sure what all like the vibe is gonna be. And um, being that it's our anniversary trip, I just wanna look nice and so, I'm bringing casual stuff, but also nice stuff in case I don't feel like getting nice or if I get there and it's not like I'm like way overdressed or something like that. So I have my makeup here. I have these Under Armour shorts that I usually will wear swimming. They're a lot longer than like swim shorts typically are. I got these at Sam's, but they're really good for um, swimming because they kind of dry quickly. Um, but I also like to wear them just around. I showed you guys this in a previous video. Um, you probably will have seen that first. It's like a Walmart grocery haul or something. And I threw these in there. I got three pairs of these and they come mid thigh, even wearing them up high waisted on my belly button. So I love these. I got them in black, orange, and this pink color. And they were like $5.98 or $6.98, something like that at Walmart. So five, six bucks for those. And then I have a few bras. I'm bringing makeup wipes perfume and then I want to try to do my nails so I'll put this out so I can uh, do some stick on nails so my toes look cute for the trip I have some panties a bunch of t-shirts I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring all these one pair of leggings I'm bringing my curlers several dresses so this is an off-the-shoulder dress I actually showed you guys this in an Amazon haul that I did so I was originally gonna do this for fall photos or something like that but I never ended up I've actually never ended up wearing this but it's an off-the-shoulder dress and then I have this dress that I got from Goodwill but this is a really really cute uh, dress from Old Navy everything I have is red which is kind of funny this is another Old Navy dress um, but this one comes right above the knee and I like the length on this one better because it comes like mid calf so this I actually got from Old Navy this one can <laughs> my five-year-old Lexa actually picked out for me at Goodwill and then I have this dress which I don't wear very often because I usually have to feel like I have to wear something under it and over it because it's a little bit low cut for my taste and it's a halter top but I might wear this for a date night and just wear it how it is we'll see this comes like right to my knee so it's just long enough but these are also um, some swim shorts that I usually wear when I go swimming and then this is a top um, that I usually wear when I go swimming because I don't um, wear my bathing suit out typically but I did buy a couple of new bathing suits this year so this I had already this is from Walmart it's a little cover-up this comes to like right above my knee and it's um, strapless so that's for a swimsuit cover-up and I got this swimsuit off of Amazon and I'm a little on the fence about it. I like the top a lot. Um, this comes down and then these are high waisted. So what it is, it's like I have like that much skin showing between them, but I don't usually wear swimsuits without shorts because no matter what I wear, it's cheeky on me because I'm just bottom heavy. <laughs> it can be hard to find swimsuits, which I, again, I wear shorts over mine anyway, but I love this new swimsuit I just got. This is a one piece. Um, and I actually wore this for the first time to the, with the pool, uh, to the pools with my girls and even though I look pregnant in a one piece because I just have a belly, <laughs> um, it was still, it was very flattering for how big my stomach is. Um, I did, it is a little cheeky, but again, like I said, I always wear shorts and pretty much everything is cheeky on me. So if you're not someone who carries a lot of your weight in the bottom half, it might not be very cheeky on you. It might just show just a little bit like the edges of my butts with hanging out. So anyway, um, I wear shorts with it anyway, but also like I like to wear like a pair of high-waisted shorts to kind of disguise my stomach also in addition to cover my booty but this was so flattering I felt like and it does have like an open back so it kind of makes you feel like you're um you're covered up if you're wearing shorts with it but at the same time it's a little you know it's a little flattering it's a little it's it's not so like frumpy I have one that I usually wear that's kind of like a mom swimsuit to me this makes me feel like I'm wearing something a little bit um, looking like a younger look to it. It is a little bit lower cut than I would normally wear. A lot of times I wear stuff over my swimsuit. So with this one, if I just wear shorts, I felt pretty comfortable in it. So we'll see. This is a really cute cover up that I got at Sam's last year. And I really, really like this a lot. The way that it's cinched in, it's hard to tell without you guys seeing me wear it. Um, also, is a small, extra small? Oh, well, no wonder. I put on like a couple pounds <laughs> since we moved, like 10 pounds. It's like a couple, that's kind of a lot, but I put on like 10 pounds since we moved. And I'm like, this is a little tighter than it was, but that's why it's a small, extra small. But 
it's kind of cinched in. It's not just a sack. It's hard to show without wearing it, um, but it's a little bit cinched in, so it's really flattering. So if you guys ever see these at Sam's, I don't know if they have them again this year, but check them out because they had a plain black one, and then they had this one, and I think they had one other pattern. This is the one I liked the best at the time because I already had a black cover-up. Anyway, so this I felt is really, it, it's flowy on your body, but it's cinched in. I feel like this is very flattering on me. When I go to the beach, I usually just keep this on, actually. And it's better than wearing shorts and a t-shirt over my swimsuit. I just keep this on over it. But I did order, if it comes in in time today, I ordered a high-waisted cover-up skirt that's long to go with this. So I'm hoping, the shorts look a little funny. Because it cinches in at the smallest part of my waist, the shorts look a little bit funny with this swimsuit. Um, because my belly button's like down here. So then it's like I'm wearing the shorts right here and then I have another line. So it looked a little funny. Um, so I'm hoping I can put like a high-waisted skirt and just tie it at the small part of my waist. And that that'll look cute and flattering and cover my booty and my legs and all that stuff that I don't want hanging out. We'll make it work. Also got this dress from Amazon, which I don't normally wear these kind of leopard prints or animal prints, and my husband hates the leopard prints. It's a little low cut, so I am bringing this to go underneath it. And I'm also bringing this. I put this on this morning. I tried it on. It fits really good. This has pockets. It's really flattering. Cinches in at the waist. I could have gone one size down, I think, and still been good because someone had recommended going up a size, so I think I did an extra large in this. Um, uh, but... I usually do larges and dresses. Even when I'm fitting into mediums, I do larges and dresses because um, I want to make sure that they're long enough because I usually like them to come a little below the knee. Anyway, put this on with it to kind of like not have so much animal print and I tied it underneath the smallest part of my waist. I'll try to insert a clip. If I go put this on, I'll try to insert a clip for y'all of me wearing it. It looks really cute. I was actually surprised. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do with this. Then I have some jeans that I'm going to put on to wear today and then I have some jean shorts and some regular jeans just to bring with me. Some This is some pajamas. So this is everything that I'm bringing. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my bag. Like I said, this is way more than I needed to bring, but <laughs> let's go ahead and pack it up. Our girls are going to be staying with some friends in the Houston area and we are going to be going to the Margaritaville there to celebrate our 15th wedding anniversary. I'm so excited because I've actually never, we've never gone on an anniversary trip. We didn't even go on a honeymoon because when we first got married, like both of us didn't get vacation at our job. And so we basically had to miss out on pay to take a week off of work. So what we did was we took a week off of work, just sat around and watched all the movies and stuff for our honeymoon. And um, I kind of regret that we didn't go anywhere, but at the time we didn't have the money and we weren't ones to put anything on credit. So anyway. I say all that to say, this is going to be the first time we've gone anywhere to celebrate our anniversary, and I'm super excited about it. We're going to the Margaritaville in Houston, and when you guys see this, it'll have been like a few weeks ago, because um, I'm going to be going out of town to see my family right after that, so I've pre-recorded a bunch of my videos for the next month. But yeah, I'm really excited to just go and have, like we've never left our girls overnight before, and... Um, that's going to be a new experience, but they are staying with some of their very best friends. Um, and so I know they're just going to have a blast. So I am overpacking as I've already said a few times, but I'm okay with that because I want to make sure that I am able to dress and look cute. We shall see how it all turns out, but I'm really excited about it. And bringing my curly, my curlers, my hot rollers, which I actually hot rolled my hair this morning and I definitely know I'm back in the South because my hair is straight. <laughs> in Michigan, my hair would hold a curl. Like, my whole life, my hair wouldn't hold a curl living in Louisiana. And I thought, like, oh, I finally learned how to do my hair to make it hold a curl. And it's like, no, girl, you just didn't have that humidity to deal with anymore. So, that's been... Welcome back to the South. My hair doesn't hold a curl anymore. Um, unless I put a ton of products in it, then it will, but... No, look at the turtle. He's so... Oh, oh, I love him. He's so good. Oh, he's, he's so squishy. And you pull me closer, but don't waste your time. Don't have any time for all your empty lies. I used to think that you were only mine, but I was blinded by a shallow light. I'll call you friend.
jewelry, which I don't usually bring jewelry on vacation, but again, I wanna look nice for when we go out to dinner and stuff. So I have these little earrings. Don't remember where I got these. These are some of my favorite little earrings. I always love wearing like the gold little dangly earrings like this. They kind of like go behind your hair and peek out. I always feel like that's so pretty. And just like everything else, I'm overpacking with that. I'm bringing some nicer ones, and then some ones that I don't mind getting wet. And then these ones are my go-to. They're starting to wear out, but I love these ones so much. And then I got a colorful version of them that I just thought were so cute. So these ones, like a replica of those like super expensive name brand ones you see all of the fashion blog bloggers wearing, they're like, $250 sandals or something. <laughs> so these are like similar style to those. They're like 30 bucks. And then I just recently found these ones for $10. Same thing, but they're like a, you know, a crazy pattern. So I figured those would be fun for the beach as well. They're not nearly as comfortable though as these are a different brand. They look like the same, like the exact same shoe, don't they? But um, these ones are more cushy, but like all this part of them is it, it just feels like very cheap and plasticky and it's just not, uh, very comfortable. These ones are super comfortable. This, I don't know if it's real leather, but it feels like it. Um, they're probably not because they were only $30, but anyway, full price. I think these were $30 full price or something, but they were on sale for 10 when I bought them. Anyway, so I'm bringing those. And these are slightly fancier for like wearing with my dresses um, if we go to out to eat or whatever. All right, put my makeup back in here as well. So that is pretty much everything. We are spending the night at our friend's house tonight in Houston to get the girls settled and then we'll be leaving tomorrow to actually go to the resort. But I'm all packed except some chargers in my purse. I wanna do my toes if I have time today, but I gotta finish up everything else I'm doing before. All right, I'm gonna pack my girls each two long pants, two shorts, and their swim stuff. And then jammies. Try not to overpack for them, but I also, if they like need to change twice a day, they're only gonna be there two days, so maybe I'll bring them, you know, two outfits a day. So I was thinking two long pants, two shorts, and then four, four um, shirts. And my three-year-old Kenzie is totally obsessed with wearing dresses, so. I'm gonna definitely throw in a couple of dresses for her because she'll probably throw a fit if she doesn't wear dresses. I always like to put these little biker shorts under their dresses. And so I'll be packing a couple pairs of those, some coarse panties and socks and jammies. So just a little quick weekend trip, but um, you know, you hate to leave somebody with not enough stuff. Of course she can wash if she needs to, but. Just gonna throw everything that is in this clean laundry that I wanna pack for them into this basket and then go upstairs and see what we have up there. Pack them two swimsuits just in case. I want to get this laundry all done before we leave, but I might not do that. We'll see. Kind of. All right. I'm probably going to pack everything that I'm putting here. I'm going to go upstairs and put it on one of their beds and kind of sort through it and see what all I have and then what I have upstairs. You guys have to tell me if you are someone who overpacks on trips or do you underpack and regret it or do you have it down to a science so you know like exactly how much to bring and you get it right every time. You'll have to tell me down in the comments below. I, I am notoriously a overpacker for myself mainly because I don't know everybody who's like, who has weight to lose is like this but for me I never know like on any given day like how bloated I'm gonna feel and that's the biggest thing. I always think like if I ever get to my goal weight, when I ever get to my goal weight, that I will be able to pack less because for my girls, 
I usually don't overpack. The only reason I'm overpacking is that I think um, since I'm leaving them with someone else, I don't want to put them in a bind where they don't have enough clothes for them. But sometimes with the girls, I do underpack because I'm like, oh, they don't need that much stuff. And so I try not, I try not to overpack because I'll, like when they were really little, I would overpack and then as they've gotten older, I'll cut back on how much I pack for them. And then my husband's like, you didn't bring enough stuff because like the weather will be unpredictable and I'll have only brought in pants or only brought in shorts and it's cold, you know. Um, every state I've ever lived in, they're like, oh, the weather's so weird here. It's hot one minute, cold the next. But I'm just pretty much convinced that the weather's like that everywhere because again, everywhere I've ever lived has been like that. And everybody thinks it's unique to their state. It's not. <laughs> I mean, I've only lived in three states, but still, they all say the same stuff. It's not unique to Michigan or Louisiana or Texas that it's 50 degrees one day and 90 the next. It happens in all three places that I've lived. Or like 40 in the morning and then 70, 80 in the afternoon. Seems to happen everywhere. You know that I want to be good for you. You know that I want to be good for you. I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, or can't you see? I'm just being weak. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you, I do. But sometimes I can't be there for me. Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? I'm just being me. Sometimes we just colliding and we keep on fighting, but we'll be okay because we got unconditional love. Sometimes we just crying, but we'll keep on trying. I know we'll be okay. Hey y'all, so we are back from our trip. It was so nice. It was so relaxing. I know I took a couple of clips set up for you guys just of our room and the area we stayed in. So as I told you guys, we went to the Lake Conroe Margaritaville just outside of Houston. And I wanted to show you guys what our suite looked like. So we got a king suite that had like a balcony that was overlooking the pool and the lake and all of that. So this is what the main area looked like. We had a really great time just relaxing together. We actually just would go to the pool in the morning, come back to the room and take a nap in the afternoon and then go back out. Because you know, with kids, it's like you have one shot to do everything. We were there for two nights and our friends watched our girls for us. So we were super, super grateful to have them keep the girls. The first time we've ever left them overnight and they had a really good time. I know they were missing us by the second night. So it was perfect. We came back like 10 o'clock in the morning that next day. So it worked out really great. We had a great time, nice and relaxing. It was fun to get away by ourselves and celebrate our anniversary, just be relaxed and kind of like, if you guys have kids, you know, like when you have kids, everything's on a schedule, especially when they're little, you're like, okay, we gotta, you know, get them fed and everything needs to be done. Rush out and like, if you're, especially you're doing water activities in the heat, it's like, okay, we gotta make sure they're ready to go. And we have this a lot of time to go out, swim, have a good time. And then they're gonna be exhausted at that point. So we need to be back at a certain time to like feed them again and like let them take a nap or whatever. You know how that goes with little kids. If you have them or you've had them before, so it was kind of fun for us to just be able to relax and be like, oh, let's go back to our room and relax for a little bit and then go back out to the pool. You know, it's like so much easier to do that kind of stuff with just adults. So I think it's really great for your relationship just to have a little time alone and just be able to relax. So we really enjoyed it, but we were really happy to see our girls again. They were super excited to see us too. So uh, they, they had a great time. We had a great time, but we are excited to be back with the family. But I am now going to be taking my girls home to Louisiana because my sister had a baby and we're going to be there for about a week and a half, two weeks. Aaron's going to stay here because he's working, but um, now they're not in school yet and I'm not working. We're taking advantage of being able to up, get up and go. And so, yeah, we've been doing a lot of that this spring and summer, but this is the first trip we're taking without Aaron and going home to Louisiana. And then I'm going to be going to Florida to see my nephew graduate and then um, going back to Louisiana and then coming back home. So it'll be about two weeks total that we're gone. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw everything in the wash tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be home to get everything straightened and then we're leaving out again on Tuesday morning. Today is Sunday afternoon. So it's going to be a little bit of a whirlwind right now, but I'm just putting everything in the wash so we can wash our clothes. And since this is a longer trip, I'm going to be packing up a few more things, but I want to get all this stuff washed, 
repacked and then additional things added for this trip. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this out to care. No, I don't want to be mad on things you do, but sometimes I need what's best for me. Sometimes I need what's best, baby. Can't you see? Can't be there when you weak. No, no, no. Yes, I want you to be here for me. Of course, I want you to be here. Don't disappear. Sometimes I need you strong for me. Sometimes I need you strong when I'm on my knees. Oh, baby. to go in the wash so I'm just going to finish washing everything tonight it's about six o'clock I'll probably um, just leave everything on the couch and then fold it tomorrow and like put you know put whatever away tomorrow that needs to go away they put it be put away and repack the things that I'm gonna be bringing on the next trip and then go ahead and repack our bags tomorrow so they're ready to go for Tuesday you don't question my love you know it's there and even if we don't agree you know I can't cuz baby you and me we meant to be here. It's you and me. Unconditional. La ha 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 ha. You and me. Unconditional love. Sometimes we just collide and, and we keep on fighting. But we'll be okay. Cause we got. So I always forget to show you guys what um, detergent I'm using to wash my clothes. I just have the great value here. I used to use Gain and Ultra and all different kinds. And honestly, I personally don't really have a preference other than fragrances. I haven't noticed that my clothes get more clean with one brand over the other. You guys have to let me know in the comments down below. Do you have a tried and true like holy grail laundry detergent that you think works better than like any other laundry detergent or that you prefer, leave me a comment down below and let me know so I can try new stuff. I really am just going for the cheaper, you know, options right now because like I said, I haven't really noticed a personal preference between any types of other laundry detergents. Waste of words, waste of breath. Cause I've got none to say. Thoughts stay burn inside my chest. Can take it one more day. No matter how much pain I'm in, no matter how, gotta think, I gotta breathe. Changes to come. But look what Kenzie did. <laughs> Isn't this precious? She <laughs> redid my whole drawer. So Coco Melon was playing and I didn't want to cut, get like a copyright strike. So basically um, I didn't get to talk very long and explain that clip, but I opened this drawer and I found where Kinsey had rolled up all my towels. She had refolded them and rolled them up. It was super cute. I had told her the day before, like put them back in there because she had like taken them all out and I thought she just threw them back in there, but no, she had completely reorganized them by rolling them up. And I thought that was the cutest thing. She doesn't know how to fold towels or rags properly yet, but she rolled them up and it was really cute. So at this point, I just wanted to unload and reload the dishwasher so I wouldn't have any mess the next day. Aaron had run to the grocery store to get some things for himself this next work week and get some sandwich stuff for snack stuff for me to take with the girls on the trip on Tuesday. And so again, this was still Sunday night and I wanted to be able to go ahead and get this all done. So on Monday, all I had to do was pack for the week and then um, we were gonna be able to leave out on Tuesday. So that's what I'm doing, just doing, putting all the dishes away and Aaron is putting away the groceries that he ran to the store and got. When I originally um, was putting this video together, there was actually a lot of stuff I ended up not recording at the end of this day and the next day, and I was thinking that this video wasn't gonna end up being long enough, but I was actually shocked at how long it ended up being. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this long clean with me videos and that you got a lot of cleaning motivation from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And let's go ahead and get on with the last couple of minutes of the cleaning motivation.
So the last little thing I wanted to do on this day was switch over the last final load of laundry. I left this laundry to take care of the next day, but I just wanted to switch this load over. I will say the biggest surprise for me with my newest uh, set is how hard it is for me to reach into the washing machine all the way at the bottom. Now I am five foot four, so I feel like I'm average height. Like I know to some people that is like considered short, but in the South, I feel like a lot of girls are five two to five four. At least that's how it's always been like where I grew up. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got a lot of cleaning motivation for your day. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch some more, I'll have more on the screen for you and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.